All right, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Um, we're talking about PETA and Thanksgiving today. So it's a well-known fact that nobody likes PETA. They are a complete joke, and they do, like, way more harm to animals than any other organization I can think of. And, you know, they preach the opposite, right? In fact, they always go way too far with their preaching as well, and they shame you for your choices and your lifestyle. They're always tweeting about how they want you to stop doing this, stop doing that, and they always make you feel like absolute trash for just being being a regular human being eating some chicken, right? Just the fact that you've eaten at McDonald's one time in your entire life makes you absolute scum in their eyes. I mean, you've probably seen them in like a thousand controversies by now because they just can't keep their mouth shut, right? I swear to God, it, it's this constant yapping and, and yapping and yapping. They can't shut up. But, you know, today's topic is specific to Thanksgiving, right? So PETA made a tweet about Thanksgiving. I mean, obviously, it's like the prime opportunity for them. The entire premise of the festival is eating a giant turkey uh, with your family, right? I mean, that's not the premise. The premise is like history and all that jazz and being thankful for the harvest and I don't know, being thankful in general. But yeah, eating a turkey with their family is like common tradition, right? That's what a lot of people do. So Peter was obviously like, I can't believe these people are eating animals. It's not it's not like animals eat animals. That I, I can't believe this. Um, I must prevent this. Uh, imagine you were the turkey. And um, the phrasing of this tweet, my god, it, it's just... Mm. Gorgeous. So PETA tweets out, Think about trading places with the turkey this Thanksgiving. Imagine if you were the one being stuffed for a Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, now, um, the innocent ones in the audience may just be like, you know, PETA's just being dumb, right? They're making a tweet about the turkey being eaten. But, um, if you don't know the alternative meaning of getting stuffed, you, you may not understand the overwhelming response that this tweet got and the fact that people are just memeing the hell out of it. So I recently found out that, um, getting stuffed also means getting fricked, all right? Here we have Urban Dictionary, and it says, getting stuffed is another term for having the frick frick. I was late for work because I was at home getting stuffed. I don't think that's a valid reason for being late for work, but you do you, Urban Dictionary. So yeah, pretty much it was like a really poor choice of words. I mean, the tweet is stupid already, and you can probably make fun of that in itself, but just the fact that they use this wording, um, people just went in completely. I just said went in, of course, of course. I, I, okay, I understand your your troubles, Peter. It's pretty hard. Dude, I'm not even doing that intentionally. <laughs> Holy sh and obviously the fact that PETA gets like thousands of likes, they do have thousands of supporters, right? So there are some people who replied, turkeys are very intelligent animals that can appreciate music. They are not food. They deserve to live happily and free just like humans. That's right, guys. Turkeys can appreciate music. I mean, I I've never heard of a human appreciating music. In fact, I think we should switch the roles. The turkey should eat us, right? This is so dumb. I feel like it has to be a meme, but I, I know these crazy sort of V vegan type of people do exist. I mean, y you've seen my videos on them. They're, they're straight up nuts. So somebody replied just completely shutting this person down saying, turkeys are literally one of the stupidest birds. They climb trees then forget how to climb down <laughs> and just jump and kind of neck themselves. Bro, imagine climbing a tree and forgetting how to climb down. Oh my god, dude. I mean, I'm sorry, Turkey, that if at that point you just deserve to get eaten. Okay, listen, I'm not heartless, okay? I do care about animals, but I will not stand by and watch someone, like, shame me for my decisions or... And, I mean, I haven't even eaten a turkey ever, so uh, I don't know why I'm talking as if I'm doing this, but I wouldn't let people sh shame other people, okay? You know what's pretty weird? I've, ne I've never seen PETA shame a lion for eating a deer. Why, why don't you go tell the lion that, you know, um, it's pretty bad, man. I don't know, they, they could have appreciate music. That's kind of like saying don't kill an ant because it's a very hard worker. Like, do I care? Like, g go work hard somewhere else. Like, uh, if you're next to me, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not taking any chances of you crawling in any of my holes, okay? I'm, I'm, you're, you're, you're out of here, okay? I, I, I need to sleep at night. Now, somebody went and posted, like, this copy pasta. Um, I, I don't know where this came from, and it makes me quite uncomfortable, but I'll read it out anyways. Let's say, hypothetically, you, you tied me up and stuffed me in the dinner table. And let's say, theoretically, you spanked me too and made me a good boy. In fact, statistically, I would be asking to be raw-dogged by PETA. What is wrong with the internet now, dude? I, th this stuff has just got me questioning life. I think the reason I'm kind of mad at PETA about this is because, like, not that I celebrate Thanksgiving, I, I don't even celebrate it, so, like, why should I even care? I've never eaten a turkey either, but... 
Um, I just remember watching this really wholesome episode of Thanksgiving on regular show. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would notice that my profile picture or my icon is Muscle Man, right? He's a character from the regular show and he's pretty funny. And that's not like a random choice that I randomly put there because he looks kind of funny. It's because I, I really like the regular show, right? It's genuinely one of the funniest cartoons out there and I highly recommend it if you haven't watched anything. It's like really short episodes and they're pretty funny and they're very weird. It's anything but regular. So there's this one particular episode about Thanksgiving, right? And they're battling this super rich billionaire trying to ruin Thanksgiving and they go through so much stuff to try and save it, and the, to, to save the festival and make sure their families have a great time. And they battle this like billionaire on a blimp and they have to make like a hit song that everybody loves about Thanksgiving. And it's super touching and awesome. And it, it was genuinely like one of my favorite episodes ever. And that's why I, I do think Thanksgiving is pretty cool. Just that episode episode like had a great message and I know that's a pretty stupid reason like oh you, you like a festival because of a random cartoon but now that I think about it everything I do is kind of based on really stupid stuff like even my channel name is because of certain characters in an anime right so like when when I started my channel there's three things that I was re-watching I was watching Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Beyblade I don't want to have like a Pokemon name because Pokemon was like my number one thing that I enjoyed so I don't want to have a Pokemon name because uh, I thought people would think I'm a Pokemon channel so I wanted like a cool name but also related to something I enjoy so I based it on Yu-Gi-Oh and Beyblade. The main character in Yu-Gi-Oh is um, a, a villain named Maximilian Pegasus and in Beyblade you probably know Jenga Hagane who's you know the main character of uh, Beyblade and, and his Beyblade is called Galaxy Pegasus right so th that's pretty much what my channel is based on. I know it's really stupid just basing it on random stuff like that it's not really meaningful but it was meaningful to me I got a lot of enjoyment out of those shows and I really like the concept of just being like thankful for whatever you have and just the people around you because that's a very scarce concept nowadays and just like I, I, I'm not saying like be thankful for whatever happened um, in the last year because you know we had the greatest freaking crisis ever in a long time and that absolutely sucks and a lot of people suffered but I'm still thankful that we're still um, here to live another day right as as the clone trooper which clone trooper said that? I don't know, but he, he said something about we live another day, okay? Or maybe as a Jedi, I don't even remember. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was a Jedi, but whatever. You know what? We're still here. We're still having fun. Maybe we're surrounded by people we love, and we should be thankful for that. And maybe we're not, but at least, you, sh you know, you're watching this video, and hopefully, at least right now, you're having a good time. And that's my only hope, honestly, right? Because it does really mean a lot that you guys enjoy my videos, and I can slightly make your day a bit better. Anyways, I had no idea what Thanksgiving was about, so I just looked it up. So it says Thanksgiving is the annual national holiday in the United States and Canada, celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year. Americans generally believe that their Thanksgiving is modeled on a 1621 harvest feast by the English colonists. The American holiday is particularly rich in legend and symbolism, and the traditional fare of the Thanksgiving meal typically includes turkey, bread stuffing, potatoes, cranberries, and pumpkin pie. I think none of this is appealing at all except maybe potatoes. <laughs> or bread stuffing, but whatever, um, it seems okay. Here's like a picture or a painting, I think, which is pretty cool. So yeah, PETA, you suck, and nobody is grateful for you at all. No, literally nobody cares about you. And some people dream about getting stuffed every night, so you know that maybe that's not really anything new. Anyways, in conclusion, um, happy Thanksgiving. I'm very grateful for all of you guys watching and supporting me all the time. The very sweet comments and tweets I get genuinely make me feel awesome every Every day and I, I did say in like my International Men's Day video that I, I don't get complimented which was true but that was before I was a YouTuber okay don't don't worry you don't need to feel sad or whatever you guys are super sweet now so I'm really lucky to have you thank you so much for watching stay awesome um eat some delicious food and yeah happy Thanksgiving uh, um, okay it's not posted on Thanksgiving Day but you get a point you can be grateful whenever you can eat great food whenever um yeah you get the point bye, -bye. Bye.